Hi, this is Matt Coddington with My Mobileville, and I'm going to show you a feature that is available for Android phones that have version 2.2, officially known as Froyo, and if you're using the Google Chrome browser, and that is called Chrome to Phone. This is an extension that you put onto your browser, which allows you to be able to send links to your phone directly from the browser. Now here I am on the actual page that is um, on code.google.com. You of course can just Google for this and end up at this link. So Chrome to phone. You see that there's three links there. The first one is really, it says it's an old link. So the second one is the APK file, which is for your device. And the third one is actually the Chrome extension that you would end up putting onto your browser. Once you do that, you end up having a button that would be up here. You can see my other extensions. And that extension is right here, Chrome to phone extension. So then I'll back up here so we can see the whole page and I'll give you an example of how it works. Now here is a website, Mashable, and it's got this article, Morning Brief Google Acquires Slide. So obviously there's numerous ways that you can end up saving this, but this is just a convenient way to where I can go on over and I click and I'm gonna back up here so you can see how fast this happens. I'm gonna hit the Google Chrome to phone button. It says sending to phone. And my phone immediately launches to it. And so you can see there is Morning Brief Google Acquires slide. The article is now opened up in my browser that quickly. And now I'll go on up to my next tab for another example. And I have a YouTube video here ready and this mystery guitar man. And so again, maybe it's just an example where you just want to be able to, you see this video and you're like, you know, I'd like to just look at this on my device later. So again, other ways that you could do this, you could just copy this and email it to yourself, etc. But instead, now with this URL already up there, I click on the button for Chrome to phone and it immediately launches. So I'll turn it sideways so you can see. And it's playing the video. That fast. So let me stop that. All right, and now my next example is I'll use my Mobileville as an example of you can just select some text. So I could go ahead and highlight this text here that starts with since moving over to Android after years of Windows Mobile. And so I've highlighted that uh, first paragraph. Again, I go on up and I click on the Chrome to phone extension. And in this case, what it's going to do is it sent it to uh, the notification screen and said copied text to clipboard. So then now I'll use an example if I go to Evernote just so that I can have something to write on. I have a new text note open and I tap and hold and I say paste and there is since moving over to Android after years of using Windows Mobile. So again, convenient way where you could have a huge chunk of text and now you could take it and you could paste it into whatever in your phone. And then lastly, you can do a phone number. So here's an example where I just did a quick search just for some heating and air places. I just wanted to pull up a business. Now, um, part of this example, I've got several extensions on my Google Chrome browser and one of them happens to be Google Voice. So you can see if I mouse over a phone number, it says call with Google Voice. But let's just pretend for a moment I don't have Google Voice. I just highlight that phone number. Again, I end up hitting the Google Chrome to phone extension and it brings up the phone dialer and the phone number is ready to go for me to dial. So that is pretty cool as well. And that is Google's Chrome to phone. Now wait, there is more. A developer has made a very cool app that is known as, let me get this up here so you can see, it is called Android to Cloud. And what Android to Cloud allows for you to do is I will come on over here to my device and I'm gonna go on over to my browser I like to use Dolphin Browser. So I'll open up the browser and I think I already have a page I wanted to use as an example. Okay, here's this page. There's eight things that you should store in Evernote. So you see it's just kind of a more mobily formatted page. But let's say you just happened upon this page because you got it in an email, maybe an RSS feed, Twitter post or something. Well now I go ahead and I'm going to tap and hold on the uh, URL and get the usual share page kind of option and you've got your normal options you usually have that are a variety of things you could email it text it etc you also see Android to cloud is one of my options I tap on that now let me go on up here and watch my browser and it has now launched this article eight things that you should store in Evernote so pretty cool that again it's, it's this is 
pretty much the opposite of what Chrome to phone does. So this is allowing you to send it from your phone on over to your desktop. And again, this the main convenience for this is going to be when you actually are sitting right here at your desktop. Um, or you might have just launched it and you come on home and it's already there launched too if your browser was already open. I'll use another example. I will go on over to YouTube and let me go back to the list of videos here on YouTube and I'll just scroll on down here to randomly choose something like this aimbot one and I'm going to tap and hold on it and I'm going to say share and again Android Cloud is an option go back up to my browser and it should show up in a moment here any day now I can feel it coming I know it's there. there we go. Voila. There's the aimbot video about ready to start playing. All right, that's enough of that. So uh, that's what I've discovered so far from the Android Cloud app. There's been some other things I tried sharing, be it like being in uh, the mobile version of Google Maps and share, and it didn't necessarily work so well. So I think primarily it's intended to be for sharing links from a website or obviously works very well with YouTube as well. But uh, Chrome to phone is a great way to go from your browser to your device. And Android to cloud is a great way to go from your device to your browser. So definitely something worth checking out. Again, Chrome to phone. This is Matt Coddington with MyMobileVille. Have a good day.